the day we're taking a look at these NHL matches, which are happening on Saturday, April 1, 2023, and giving you our team and total picks for today. Welcome back to High Stakes. Before we dive into our video, don't forget to subscribe and to push the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Also check out our Patreon if you want access to our premium picks. Our Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money, and if you are interested in props and parlay picks, check out our new channel High Stakes Props and Parlays, where you can find our player props and parlay picks predictions. You will find the link to our Patreon and to our new channel in the description and comments section below. St. Louis Blues vs. Nashville Predators. The Blues have won four of their last five games and five of their last six road game. They are playing well offensively, scoring 17 goals in their last three road games. They've also played well on special teams, converting over 20% of their power play opportunities. The Predators have done a good job killing penalties, but they're not playing well defensively at the moment, giving up 11 goals in their last three home games, so expect them to have a hard time slowing down the Blues in this game. The Predators have lost three of their last four games and four of their last five home games. They have struggled offensively, scoring only five goals in their last three home games. They have done a better job on special teams, converting over 81% of their power play opportunities. The Blues aren't great defensively, but they played better in recent games and won't have trouble keeping Nashville's offense in check. Go with St. Louis to cover the money line. St. Louis has scored at least five goals in each of their previous four games. Their opponent has scored five or more goals in the past two out of three games. The Blues have gone over the point total in five straight games. Both teams' defense rank near the bottom of the league in goals allowed per game. The previous game between these two teams did go over the point total, with a combined seven goals scored. Goaltender Saros has been playing well recently, limiting the high-scoring Bruins to one goal on Tuesday, but he and his team did let up seven goals to the Kraken last week and seven to the Rangers a few days before. Most signs point to a higher scoring affair between these two teams. Take the over 6.5 goals. Boston Bruins vs Pittsburgh Penguins. Hard not to take the Bruins with a reasonable money line. The Bruins are 6-4 in their last 10 games versus Pittsburgh, averaging nearly 35 shots on net per game, compared with just 28 per game for the Penguins. The Bruins also have a big edge in special teams, scoring on nearly 18% of their power play chances versus Pittsburgh, compared with just 7% for the Penguins. Boston has gone 18-2 in the team's last 20 games versus the Metropolitan Division. Meanwhile, Pittsburgh is just 3-6 in its last nine games and just 1-5 against Eastern Conference teams in the last six games. Bruins goalie Swayman comes in hot and will push the Bruins towards the win record with another win in this spot. Take Boston with the money line. These offenses have been struggling to score a bit lately, as the Bruins are scoring 2.25 goals in their last four games, while the Penguins are averaging 3.4 goals in their previous five games. Neither team has been able to really do too well on the power play throughout the entire season as well, with Pittsburgh ranking 12th with a 21.8 power play percentage, while Boston is 15th with a 21.5 power play percentage so far. The under is 10-3 in their previous 13 games against each other, so go with the under here as well. Slanders vs Tampa Bay Lightning. He Lightning have won five of their last nine games and two of their last three home games. They are playing well offensively, scoring 12 goals in their last three home games. They have also played well on special teams, converting more than 25% of their power play opportunities. The Islanders have done a great job killing penalties, but they struggled defensively in recent road games, giving up 15 goals in their last five road games, so expect them to have a hard time slowing down the Lightning in this game. The Islanders have won five of their last seven games, but they split their last four road games. They have struggled offensively, scoring only seven goals in their last three games. They have also struggled on special teams, converting only 16% of their power play opportunities. The Lightning have done a good job killing penalties, and they're playing well defensively, giving up only three goals in their last three games, so expect them to keep New York's offense in check. Go with Tampa Bay to cover the money line. Neither team has been elite at killing penalties up to this point, as the Islanders are 9th with an 82 kill percentage, while the Lightning are 15th with a 79.9 kill percentage so far. 
both teams are scoring lately, as Tampa Bay is averaging 3.6 goals in their last five games, while New York is posting 4.5 goals in their previous two games played. The over is 3-0 to 1 in the Islanders' last four games against teams with a winning record, as well as in five of the previous six Lightning games, after their opponent scores two or less goals in their previous game, so go with over six goals here. Buffalo Sabres vs Philadelphia Flyers Philadelphia is facing a nearly impossible path to the postseason, trailing by 13 points with eight games remaining, and would have to win each of their final games, and the eight teams in front of them would have to lose each of their final games. Buffalo's chances are better yet not that good, but the Sabres will have far more incentive to win on Saturday. Buffalo has played very well this season on the road at 21-11-3, while Philadelphia is just 17-16-5 at home. Philadelphia is 29th in goals scored with just an average of 2.70 goals per game and allows an average of 3.27 goals per game. Buffalo gives up more than its share of goals at 3.67 goals per game, but is scoring an average of 3.56 goals per game and will have a field day against a weak Philadelphia blue line. Our team pick is Buffalo Sabres. Looking at the offensive production as of late, the Sabres are scoring 3.33 goals in their previous three games, while the Flyers are averaging 4.2 goals in their last five games. These defenses are also struggling as Philly is 26th in the sport with a 74.8 penalty kill percentage, while Buffalo is 30th in hockey with a 72.8 kill percentage thus far. The over is 46-21-1 in their previous 68 games against one another, so go with over 6 goals in this game. Toronto Maple Leafs vs Ottawa Senators The Toronto Maple Leafs are going to finish second in the Atlantic, regardless of the results in these last stretch of games, but are still motivated to beat their classic rival and ruin Ottawa's slim playoff hopes. The Senators are inconsistent and have only won 4 of their last 10 games. Furthermore, the Maple Leafs continue to find the back of the net, averaging a stellar 3.7 goals in their last 10 games. The Maple Leafs are playing strong defensively recently, which makes them tough to beat considering the elite offense. They have conceded three or fewer goals in three of their last four games. Our team pick is Toronto Maple Leafs. Two of the three games between these teams this season, and I'd expect that trend to continue for this final battle of Ontario of the season. Toronto's been good offensively, scoring the seventh most goals in the NHL, generating the ninth most expected goals and the sixth most high danger shots in the league. Ottawa's scored just the 15th fewest goals in the league, but they're generating offense at a very good level, generating the seventh most expected goals and the eighth most high danger shots in the NHL. They've struggled a bit defensively as well, which should lead to more goals. The Senators are allowing the 13 most goals in the NHL, giving up the 10th most expected goals and the 5th most high danger shots. This game should fly over the 6.5 total, with goals getting scored by both teams. Take the over here and expect an electric game with plenty of goals. Carolina Hurricanes vs Montreal Canadiens The Canadiens are looking to snap out of their losing streak and pull off the upset on their home ice. The problem is that the Hurricanes are one of the best teams in the NHL and look to control this game from the opening puck drop. The Hurricanes should find the back of the net at will against the Canadiens' defense, which allows 3.67 goals per game, with Sebastian Ajo, Martin Nikas, and the rest of the forward unit carrying the puck into the offensive zone and creating open shots with cross-ice passes and quick puck movement. The Hurricanes, who allow only 2.59 goals per game, should limit the Canadiens' offense, which averages only 2.82 goals per game, with Brent Burns, Brett Pess, and the rest of the defensive unit creating turnovers in the defensive zone and limiting shots on the net, allowing goaltender Antti Ranta to make plenty of big saves. The Hurricanes should win the game and cover the spread in a dominant win on the road. Our team pick is Hurricanes minus 1.5 goals. Although both previous games between these teams went over the total, I expect this final matchup of the season to stay under the 6.5 tonight. Both of these teams have trended under this season with the under in Hurricanes games going 40-32-2 and in Habs games going 36-34-6. I expect Carolina to dictate the pace of play of this game and they have been one of the best defensive teams in the NHL. They've allowed the third fewest goals in the league, giving up the fewest expected goals and the fewest high danger shot in the NHL. 
Montreal's really struggled offensively, and I expect the Canes to shut them down. The Canadians have scored just the seventh fewest goals in the NHL, having generated the third fewest expected goals and the ninth fewest high danger shots in the league. Take the under. Florida Panthers vs. Columbus Blue Jackets. Columbus is really struggling lately, losing seven of their last 10 games. Florida has dominated Columbus in recent meetings. The Panthers are 8-2-0 in the last 10 contests against the Blue Jackets. In the last 10 meetings between these two teams, Florida averages 4.90 goals per game and Columbus averages 2.60 goals per game. The Blue Jackets have been struggling on offense recently. Columbus scored two or fewer goals in six of their last 10 games. They rank 30th in goals per game and 25th in shots per game. Florida has been playing well on offense recently. They scored four or more goals in five of the last 10 games. The Panthers rank fifth in goals per game and first in shots per game. Matthew Tkachuk leads the Panthers with 101 points. Tkachuk is fourth in points and tied for seventh in assists among all players in the league. The Panthers have had Columbus's number in recent meetings, and in a must-win game for the Panthers Florida will win this matchup by two or more goals. Florida has been playing well on offense recently. They scored four or more goals in five of the last ten games. The Panthers rank fifth in goals per game and first in shots per game. Matthew Tkachuk leads the team with 101 points. Tkachuk is fourth in points and tied for seventh in assists among all players in the league. Alexander Barkov has 68 points, Carter Verhig has 66 points, and Sam Reinhardt has 59 points. Bet the goal spread, minus 1.5, and take Florida. Florida has been playing well on offense recently. They scored four or more goals in five of the last 10 games. The Panthers rank fifth in goals per game and first in shots per game. Matthew Tkachuk leads the Panthers with 101 points. Tkachuk is fourth in points and tied for seventh in assists among all players in the league. Florida averages 4.90 goals per game in the last 10 contests against the Blue Jackets. Defense and goaltending have been horrible for the Blue Jackets this season. They rank 31st in goals against per game and 30th in shots against per game. The over is 8-2 in the last 10 meetings between these two teams. Florida will score on Columbus and the over will hit in this contest. Take the over, 6.5 goals.